But hey, Master Mario wants to win against Nico. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. You wouldn't. No. You wouldn't. Oh, no. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I saw I, Master Mario played Falcon against me, but I doubt you stick to it. No, it's going to be Corrin from Nico this no, time. No, it better not. It's going to be DDD Falcon? If you had told me we'd be getting DDD. He's demanding the show. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I am entirely lost. Are we going to see... Nico, stop playing with my heart at the moment. All right, it's, <laughs> it, it's the one we expected. You see your Master Mario, he demanded that Shulk come out. I want your main. I want this. I want my worst matchup, and I want it now. Yeah, it's, it's like in friendlies, when you beat your friend, and you're like, hey, can you switch your main? Yeah. Your main? Stop with the pockets, man. Come on. But hopefully we'll be able to see something out. Master Mario versus Nico. Win your steps. Master Mario, of course, with Dark Wizzy in the chat, going for the Wizzy skin. Just a bit of a tribute. He does play that skin often, so I, I don't know if it's that. Nico, just starting with the speed art, as always. If he goes for these, you know, these combo characters in this matchup, just, it's a good way of pressing the neutral and making sure you won't be susceptible to some of these covers. Great job by him. He's able to get away with it. But that Nair demanding so much respect, so Buster is online back here. Hits him up for a little bit more damage, but the Emtil forcing him out. He knew exactly where he was going to roll in. Yeah, and once more, Master Mario playing this game with his back turn. Often we see this back turning, looking for this back air or reverse up smash at later percents. But, you know, in the mid percents, that works too, especially when you cannot afford to get outranged. And he's going to go for it. Shield Arts back online. Nico knew exactly if that downer hit him with Smash Monado, that's going to be a stock over. Yeah, fourth throw offstage. Charges up the flood only slightly, though. Force him into that situation. F tilt doesn't fight his mark. Those back air surely are, though. So Speed Monado's back on. He's looking for the down tilt, but the up smash got his mark. Yeah, excellent work. Just knew exactly where he was going to land. It was almost as if his shadow was cluing him in there. Nico, you know, the higher ranked player going to lose game uh, stock one first. But remember, Master Mario has been playing so much more confidently, after, especially after Evo gets his stock taken, so we're back to the neutral. Yeah, that smash art boosted back throw. Excellent work. Killed at only 109%. That's powerful. Yeah, but here it comes. Here comes the combo that he's so famous for, switching to Buster, actually to, to, to speed. I was expecting the shield switch, but I think Nico knows that Master Mario has actually been labbing out shield Monado. Oh, I wanted to go for the dare, but just didn't get the right hitbox for it. Gets him, and now Master Mario is going to be losing that interaction. Just didn't have the upward reach to make it back. And here comes the strings right now. Nico, ah, oh, that grab barely misses it out. That's the grab range that really Mario struggles with. He certainly get a lot with it, but these aerials are forcing out in all these options. Nico gets the get up attack, so he's able to find out up there, force him out, but jump off Monado. Yeah, this jump art coming in for Nico. It's about to expire oh. with the F smash. Just dashed back and threw it out. Of course, that hitbox among the longest in the entire game, and Nico will do it, especially catching Master Mario off guard. Of course, that's the first, I believe that's the first smash at all, up smash, down smash, or forward smash that he went for in the entire game. That hurt. He's that one for one. That went right through his skull. That looked like it hurt. Like, I felt it. I, that's why I said that, but... Oh, goodness. Game number two, so hopefully, remember, Master Mario took the first stock, so different change of skin, hopefully a different change, different pace of the game. One thing we're not going to see change is the stage. We're going back to PS2. Master Mario hoping this one goes a bit better. Not looking like it at the moment. And he's looking for these grabs, but he's just barely out of range. Trying to use that fireball to find himself back in, and the downer as well. But unable to find it, but finally gets the parry. Instantly switching to the shield, Bonato. But you know that you're vulnerable to these combo strings, and Master Mario is surely showing out that he's got a download on Nico. Yeah, just that spark in his eye as soon as the shield art expired. Master Mario said, that's go time, and that's when I'm going to start to get these higher percent combos. Force into the corner, really uncomfortable position for him. He's actually able to catch out the aerial back here. Beats out the Nair, though. Yeah, that jump art finally coming out. That the last hit of the Nair. And he actually held it on. Back for forcing off 135. He's actually able to use it, but the Uzmash smash has got his name on it. Nico gets his first stock taken. Yeah, excellent work for Master Mark. Spot dodges around it, but just falls again susceptible to some of these aerials. The up air, no. I have to imagine one more will. Yeah, Smash Art is available, but he actually get the grab down. Smash Art is going away, and there we go. Master Mario's out of the hot water. 
now Smash Art has expired. So now Nico is going to be facing backwards. How do you secure kills without the arts on deck, without the proper ones? Perhaps just by waiting. That's not Nico style, though. Misses the tech. And now Nico is down three stocks to one. Yep, and Nico standing still. He tried to use the backslash, but the back air surely will find its mark. So Nico fighting back, but that missed tech is going to cost a lot of momentum. It is. Master Mario has the lead to play with, although not slowing down the pace at all. Just has to wait out some of these aerials and approach when he has the openings. Here it comes, the down airs though. The tornado's coming out, but that air used once more. He's actually able to catch out the landing when Nico didn't auto cancel it correctly. He actually got it, there's no way he dies! He got the uppy kill. Nico just drifted in the entirely wrong position. All of a sudden, Master Mario with a clean two stock, barely any damage taken on that second stock. We're 1-1 one, one in winter semis. Oh my goodness. Great adaptation by Master Mario. And sure, you could say Nico lost that because he got that missed tech, but that's something that Master Mario was looking for. I don't think that's a case of Nico losing it. I think that's a case of Master Mario just winning it, taking it with the bold maneuvers. Not afraid to just go for the up B when it hadn't been working out all day and even at all recently. Just came in at the right time there. He's doing such a good job right now, and here it comes versus the Shulk matchup. So he's gonna use his fireballs a lot. The problem with fireball for Mario, it's a poor part of his gameplay. The problem is, is that Aaron's beat it out. It does, and just shield, shield art will just encourage Nico to throw out more nares, and those just cover so much space. And here comes the up, he had a shield knowing that it doesn't matter if you cross me up with that down there. I'm just gonna He's get He's going for the S-Mash, just waits it out though. And instance with the shield, he respects Master Mario's combo potential. And here come the tornadoes, literally able to find something out. He, does he have a jump? He does. He's able to get back, make it back onto the stage, but Nico forcing him out in these bad situations. Excellent work. Master Mario just weaving back and forth, not willing to leave the ground first. And he's able to weave around the aerials. Smash R coming out though. At 130%, Nico could just sneeze on Master Mario with Smash Art and it would get the kill, but as that expires, gonna have to wait a bit longer. If, if Master Mario is somehow able to close out a stock, this will be super good for him because he's got a lot of rage to work with and 85%, he's looking for a back air, but these aerials from Nico forcing out so much respect. So once more, Smash Art's available. Can he survive it a third time? Now, of course, on PS2, and this is something Master Mario has to be aware of, Sheets or she Shulk's up tilt will cover the entire platform. So does not want to just take too much respite when he doesn't have the luxury of doing so. And all these Master Mario, he's trying to go for these grabs, but unable to find its mark. Mario's grab range is a little, uh, a little small on, on the small side, especially against Shulk, who can use his sword to outmaneuver it. And all these aerials cancel out the fireballs, which is why Mario really struggles in this matchup. But Master Mario, surely he has a plan. Great parry, but you can't even get the grab on for that. Yeah, the Minato coming out just so, so rangy, uh -oh. so far reaching. And here comes, he just was too deep. Yeah, perhaps the directional air dodge a couple of seconds ago, if it was in the right direction, might have. Might have been able to actually do something, but had no room to work with. Mm -hmm. This is just a miserable match. Uh, Master Mario, he's inches away from the grab, but remember, inches, isn't it? Yeah, of course, this is a game of centimeters, Smash Ultimate is. It's up tilt, just absolutely occupying acres of space. And it provides so much pressure. 149. Nico does with it, and here comes the four throw. Unable to fight an up smash, a Master Mario really struggling. He puts a little bit of footsies coming in right now, but 87% is not looking too good. And he's forced to shield knowing, yes, respect it, but great weave around. Air Slash gonna get him back on Nico. This is a re-grab, so the up smash will do it for Master Mario. Has 96% to make up in a bit of a hole, but this is certainly not out of the question. Uh, it surely seems like it. Nico with Smash Art available. One good aerial will end the game. And the set, I should say, and he's playing so patient for it. Yep, he faded out the grab. Excellent, excellently spaced back air. And now Nico, two games to one up in winter semis. Playing cleanly, you know, not going for perhaps another F smash after the first one failed. Just not in a hurry to take these socks. Knows as soon as I close out these percentages, when I get these percentages to the areas that I want, I'll find the options and I can wait. I can't afford to do so. 
this is, once again, like I said earlier, one of the worst matchups for Mario, so Master Mario doing a pretty good job right now. I think it might just possibly be the worst. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to get these grab combos down, because not only is Shulk a sword character, Shulk has Monado arts, and that's what's the real trouble coming. Certainly. Master Mario will have to approach with these tornadoes. I'll have to wait for Nico to make the first move, because, you know, as much ground as these moves do cover, a lot of them are very laggy. Shulk's back air, frame 19, tied for the slowest in the game. A lot of these aerials are similarly slow. Mm -hmm, but it's the fact that sure they're slow, the auto cancel potential is what really sells it for Shulk. Mm -hmm. And he's unable to find it out. Finally gets the grab, four throw off, Speed Monado's online, but he's actually able to get the down to, but no fair follow up. He went for a jab instead of a grab, knowing he wasn't able to get anything out of it. And here comes the Nair. He tried to call it out, but unable to find it. F Smash trying to get it something down, but Nico this time is going for the grabs. Down throw forcing into a situation, but back here for Mario. Catches him with a fireball. The flood did not poke his head about above the ledge, so Nico, very reticent of that. He knows that that flood is on deck and it can just get rid of your stock. But speaking of stocks getting absolutely trashed, Master Mario with the reverse up smash. Waits out the F smash as well, and now this is his time to put the foot on the gas pedal. And you saw this time Nico didn't switch Monados, knowing that if he goes to shield, he's going to eat a lot more percentage than usual. Really respecting that Master Mario knows exactly what to do. Up tilt doesn't catch him out, but the up the shield surely does. Yeah, that art coming directly to his advantage, aiding him in his time of need. Nico only 26% down, and as well as Master Mario played within that first stock, not having too much percent of a lead to show for it. Yeah, a lead, a percent lead to show for it. But it's the fact that he's able to eat through these fireballs and hopefully Master Mario is going to get a little bit of combo strings down. Great VI to get out of that combo with that shield Bonato, but no tech is surely going to be punished with an air from Mario actually is going to keep him safe. Now Nico has to worry about some of these back airs. If they don't connect, Master Mario can just rush in. So Buster's off the table, so this gives Master Mario some breathing space and as soon as I say that F smash yes. catches out Nico. Aided out by that spot dodge. If you time it correctly, if you wait for the sword to swing in the right direction, that blade can do no harm. And he knew that it was coming, so right now crossing up the aerials with his shield. Crossing up the shield using his aerials, and here comes the strings. Down there is not going to take him to get so much damage job using the flood to force him off stage. Master Mario is doing such a good job adapting to this game. Yeah, Master Mario playing like he wants this game five right now, using the cape to delay his recovery a little bit and waiting. Just so well done. He knew that the art was going to expire, so he'll spend as much time lounging off stage. And thankfully, he's going to catch up. Is that it? He's got the job lock. Master Mario fights back. Moving on to game five, my goodness, and hopefully we got something out going down in the background right now, so hopefully I can blur this out. Yeah, disregarding what's going on in the background for the moment, uh, you know, all of the action happening on stream right now, it looks like Nico, you know, just bowling it over, finally just thinking maybe PS2 isn't a play. That was awkward. It was very strange. I know, but Master Mario doing such a good job. Speaking of that, bringing Nico to a game five, and also, Mario's, remember, Shulk, once again, is a is a huge problem. Yeah, of course, we say this is a poor matchup, but there's always the human element to contend for. Master Mario plays this matchup. I believe he actually, I want to say he um, practiced this with either, perhaps maybe Kome at Evo? He practiced it with someone, I know. He was just tired of getting walled out by these you know, far-reaching aerials that Nico and Shulk provide. And so far, you know, it's paying off. I wouldn't say it's fully paying off, but the results are showing. He's able to get something down, and we're moving on to Kellis, the only counterpick stage, and this has been a stage that Nico loves going on. It does really favor Shulk in this particular instance. The platforms will make these up air to fair strings a bit harder to land. You can extend if you already have one going, but they're just harder to convert in the first place. Just like that, Shield Monado used to get out of that combo, but Buster's back online. But remember, when you're in Buster, you yourself take more damage. Top special. We'll put Nico at around 45% in the red. And that back here, finding its mark 127%. He knows that a one good up smash. 
Master Mario needs to fish for it. He needs to find some way. And Justin Otto's back online, forcing him out in a bad situation. Here it comes. He's trying to get something down, and the up smash finally finds its spot. Excellent work. Just in the face of the shield, just showing his unabashed play, but that F smash almost sealing it out, not quite across the stage. Oh, he didn't have a job. Master Mario. That's really unfortunate for him. So we're back to an even stock, even percent. But as soon as he sees that 25%, 36, Nico, he's got something down, but he's going to eat a, a little bit of percent from that. Now Master Mario playing more cautiously, waiting for this speed, and gets a few extra pummels perhaps he wouldn't have gone for it. Knows that Nico might not have been mashing as hard as he, as he wanted, waiting for the punish, but any percent will just deplete those arts, and that's something that Master Mario just wants to place a priority yeah, he's upon. He's gonna go. He looks. He looked. He thought he was gonna roll into the stage. With a great job, patience from Nico is able to get away. But that Nair is forcing out so many things right now. That fair once more. Master Mario is in big trouble. He's able to get into the platform. Hold Ooh, up he's with the smash art, even with Kalos' ceilings, that might be able to seal it. Not with the art expired, though. The up tilt from Nico and the fair as well, sending him on a train. Let's get away with it. That back here from both of them. Up he had a shield, not able to take it just yet. So Nico with this stock lead, but back here? Would that take it? No, no way. Back throw won't quite do it, and with the jump art, he should be able to have a safe trip back, but the back air, and now jump art might expire. Shield. Crashing it out, he dropped the shield at the last moment. Shield but I was back off, but that back air surely won't miss. So Master Mario, great air dodge. Excellent work, just gets around the fair, and not a moment too soon. Just one missed timing, and that could have spelled the end, but no matter, that's gonna be the end of Master Mario's second stock anyway. Only has one stock to play with if he wants to take this decisive game five. And Nico needs to do a great, he needs to get away with it, and this time he read it, but no Sweetsman on that back air, unfortunately. Shield Monado's back online. Yeah, that was a re-grab. Master Mario just didn't take advantage of it. The dash attack might have just gotten him off the ledge, but unable to cough him off. He needs, needs to look for the up smash, 159, Nico's living. If Nico's able to run away with this stock, this might spell disaster for Master Mario, but Nico doing such a god, such a good job staying alive. Yeah, excellent work. Even with the back air, that will do it. Master Mario only 11% down. This is not over yet. And Master Mario doing such a good job, really, really showing off why he's one of the best Marios right now. Really putting him the money as we speak. So 25 15, even percentages on both of them essentially. But that Nair from Shell, here comes the straights. Excellent work. Nico now goes. No, he doesn't trap him on the ledge. You could think that with the tools that Shulk provides, he might have been able to get perhaps a bit of a stronger trap, but the percent is climbing up anyway, and with 100% smash art, if he manages to get the kill in the next two seconds. Nope. He's fine for now. Fireballs bang back online. Here comes speed. That means a lot of aerials are coming your way. Here comes that Nair once more. Master Mario, 106%. One strong smash tag will take his stock, so he needs to play extra careful. And remember, Nico's so good at edge guarding. This is not looking too good for him at all. Smash are already back, and the fair will do it. The retreating fair, Nico, survives game five against Master Mario. What a hard fought battle. Just a war of attrition there, and Master Mario just ran out of gas first. A great play from Master Mario, doing so well. Brought it 